Hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Yellow. My name is Lunchbox Logic, and this is part 9? 10? Um, I think it's 9 of Pokemon Yellow. And since the last episode, part, I've been doing a little bit of training, so I've got all my Pokemon except for Diglett in my party, um, up to level 33. Because in the last episode, if, if you don't remember, I tried to defeat my rival and he was far too powerful for me. He sent out his first Pokemon, which was a Sand Slash, and it was a level 38. Um, and as you can see, none of my Pokemon are level 38. None of them are even level 35. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that um, this team of level 33s, mainly, um, will do the job. Just like last time, I'm gonna save here just in case I, you know, cock up again. But um, hopefully this this should run pretty smooth. So if I send out water of my first Pokemon, unless Gyarados. No, okay, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna stick with water oh, and see how he does. What kept you on the Yeah, yeah, we've heard all this before from the last episode. Ha ha ha! I thought you'd turn up if I waited. Yeah. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down, not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. Well, since the last episode, I have got a bit better, I guess. Don't know whether I've become better against you, or just better against wild Pokemon, but... <sighs> I, for some reason, I can really not see this ending well. So I'm just gonna pray that this match goes my way. Okay. That is good. That's bad. Oh, okay, okay, we got a good fight. We got a good fight here. Oh, okay. We need one more. I need to distract them. Swift shouldn't do that much damage off me. Fuck. Ah, uh, critical hit, that's why. Okay, so we got him down that far, so if we can get butter free out on him, sleep powder him, and then confuse him. Sleep powder. Ah, poison sting, don't, 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 don't do it, don't do it. Yes! Okay, this is good, this is going after a, an alright start, considering, considering, um, you know, one of them has just died, but, you know. Okay, Butterfree just can't end a lot of experience. Okay, now we've got Cloyster, which is electric, no, um, water, so either Pikachu or Gyarados would do, so I'm going to send out Pikachu just for now, because I know Gyarados is stronger, so we're going to save him for later on the battle. Okay, level 35, not bad either. Thunderbolt should take at least half of his health off, if not all of it. Okay, yeah, that's good. Supersonic failed, so I'm gonna go with another Thunderbolt, just to be safe. He's two levels higher than me, and I don't know what moves he has, so he could pull anything off the bag. But he's gone now, so moving on to the next one. Magneton. Ooh, okay, we're gonna have to send out Butterfree for this one and get him paralyzed. Not paralyzed, asleep. We'll put him asleep and then we'll just see what we can do from there. Oh dear, this is not good. Magneton's level 37 and Butterfree's level 33, and he's flying, so he's gonna die. Yep, and it's a critical hit. Wow, unbelievable. Okay, this is not good. Um, let's just send out Gyarados. I don't know why I send out Gyarados. Why did I send out Gyarados? I need. If I swap to Charmeal in, he's still gonna. He's still gonna beat me. Bite or Dragon Dra Rage? Okay, not bad. Better than I thought. Come on, Gyarados. You sh your armor is strong, so you need to survive this. Yes! Ooh. Great. Oh, okay, that's it. He's gone. Okay, so. Seems like it's an eye for an eye in this match. Okay, so if we can send a Charmeleon and get one attack in, we just need to get one attack in. Um, seismic Toss. Okay, yeah, we got it. Cool. Who's next? Kadabra. Oh, I uh, don't know whether to keep Charmeleon out or get Pikachu out. Um, I really don't know. I'll keep Charmeleon out because I think fighting against Psychic is strong. So seismic Toss. Oh, no. no, I can see him. No, don't do it. Stay alive. Yes. Okay, let's see how much damage this does. 
Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, we need to get another one in. Okay, he used Recover, so... Uh, he's gonna get his health back, then I'm gonna use another Seismic Toss. And then he's gonna get another attack on me, I think, if I don't strike before him. He got Disable on me, not Seismic Toss. It's Seismic Toss. Great. The only move that I was gonna use... Slash, why aren't I using Slash? And that is the end of Charmeleon. Critical hits as well. And we have Pikachu left. So we can Thunderbolt. Don't! Kadabra! Oh, Get him! Oh, yes! Okay, okay. Valerion, oh no, what level is he? 40, 40, he's level 40! Oh my god, and it's my, my, my Pikachu, my Pikachu, my Pikachu is faster than it. Okay, okay, no, don't you dare, don't you dare, Flareon. Okay, no, okay, this is not good. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Has Pikachu still got a quick attack? Because I need to get a quick attack in. And he's paralyzed, come on. Paralysis kicking, yes, okay, th another Thunderbolt. We may have actually done this. We may have actually done it. No. We got another one in. It missed. It missed. No. Oh, no. No way. That is so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. All we've got left is Diglett. Diglett just keeps on using Body Slam. He's gone. That's it. Game over. Oh my god, maybe not game over. Diglett's got some fight in him. Ah, uh, that's it. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Wow, just like deja vu. Ugh. So horrible. I had a good chance of beating him then. But you know what? I'm going to give it one more shot because... That was just too close, okay? That was just too close. Oh. Bring it on, bring it on, come on. I got this in me, I got this in me. I, di I didn't even send out. I sent out the wrong one. I sent out the wrong one. Okay, maybe I didn't send out the wrong one. Butterfree's been doing pretty well against Sandslash. Sandslash is like the hardest one. Butterfree hasn't even died yet, that's great. But already like doing well. Okay, who's next? Cloyster? Okay, if I remember right, Cloyster is electric. Pikachu, Gyarados. Gyarados or Pikachu? Who was it last time? Okay, you know what? We can train up Pikachu, fine. But Gyarados is the bomb. Okay, Gyarados is the bomb. He's, like, my Gyarados is gonna be treated better than my Pikachu. I know that's wrong, but it's just how it is, because Gyarados is just a stronger one, so he'll do more, and, you know, it's, it's just easier for me later on. Oh my god, that was beautiful. And he missed the supersonic, so let's get another Thunderbolt straight in there. Wipe out Cloyster, that's two down. And I, he hasn't even touched, well, he hasn't even killed one of mine yet. So, we're on to Magneton next. So, with Magneton, it's electric. So, we're going to send out Charmeleon and hope that Seismic Toss does damage. You can only pray that this works. Come on, 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 come on. Okay, you know, yep, that's really good. And Supersonic Mist as well, so again, let's get another Seismic Toss in there. Ooh, ooh, okay, no, Thundershock's bad against Charmeleon. Not too bad. I thought it might have done a lot more damage than it did. Okay, Charmeleon just wiped out uh, Magnuson. Seismic Toss. Okay, so we're down to the last two, and I have a full team. I told you I could do this. Okay, let's send out... Who has Bite? Is it Gyarados? Is it... Yeah, it's Gyarados that has Bite, so I'm gonna send out Gyarados against Kadabra. So he's got Bite and... Um, Dragon Rage and Thunderbolt. So let's give a Bite a go. Kadabra uses Recover, even though it doesn't need to. Whoa! I told you Gyarados was the bomb! I told you! 
Okay. Flareon. So, it's a no-brainer. Send an out. War Turtle. Boom. Level 40. Don't care. Water Gun. Kick it. Frickin' back. Kick his behind. Okay, let's try a bite. Okay, a bit better, but it was a critical hit, so that's probably why. So we use Bubble instead. Sand Attack, he's trying to make my accuracy lower. But I'm still getting hits on ya. Ah, there we go. Spoke too soon. And there's another one. <sighs> no way am I going to be able to hit him now. Not with War Turtle, anyway. Oh, okay. So close. So close. We use a little tackle. Just to get... Come on, just tackle. Tackle. Come on. Wipe him out. Waiting. Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I feel victorious right now. How victorious do you think I feel? How many tries did that take? Like, three or four? This is my fourth attempt. I got I got 2,600 for winning. Not only do I get to slap the shit out of his Pokemon, but I also take his money. <laughs> well, Lunchy, I'm moving on up and ahead. By checking my Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong, and I don't know what's up with this accent, honestly. And how they evolve, I'm going to the Pokemon League to boost out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's most powerful trainer. Munchie, well, good luck to you. Don't sweat it, smell ya. Ah, cool, dude. Okay, now if we speak to this dude, it'd be nice to get a Lapras off him. Oh, hi, you're not a rocket. You came to save us. Why, thank you. I wanted to have this Pokemon for saving us. I have a Lapras. It's very intelligent. We keep it on our in our lab, but it will be much better off with you. I think you'll be a good trainer for Lapras. Yeah, it'll just get shoved in the box and never used. It's a good swimmer, it'll give you a lift. Yeah, so will my water hole. So if you don't know what a Lapras is, I love Lapras. It, it reminds me of, um... Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. But, um, you'll see why when I show you it. So, data. And that's Lapras. A gentle soul that can read the minds of people. It can ferry people across the sea on its back. Naturally, like most water type Pokemon. <laughs> so, we're not doing too bad with Pokemon, actually. Um, so, you got Butterfree level 33, Charmeleon level 33. Who do we want to uh, um, evolve next? Either Water or Charmeleon, because none of the other ones can evolve apart from Diglett, but we don't really need to evolve Diglett, because we've already got a trio on our Pokedex. So we need to get Water to evolve into a Blastoise, or Charmeleon to evolve into Charizard. So I think I'm going to go with War Turtle first. That's really weird. War Turtle and Charmeleon are both level 33, and they both have 92 HP. Attack 61, Defense 70, Speed 59, and Special 55. So as you can see, his attack and defense are much better than the Speed and Special. Charmeleon's... His Special... No. His Attack and Speed are his two top ones. Special just below um, attack, and you've got the defense, which is 51, which is pretty low. 66 speed, so he's re he's actually really fast, but we're still gonna um, keep War Turtle out. Oh no, I forgot about Team Rocket. Our boss is in a meeting, you better not disturb him. <sighs> Fine. Team Rocket again, once again, in every episode to there, just like in the series, you can't escape them. And this time around, they have Weezing and Arbok. Wait, didn't they last time? I think they did. Okay, so we'll just use Bite. That was terrible, but at least he flinched. Okay, I was hoping he was going to flinch again. Okay, let's try and... Oh, I was going to say, let's just try and use a Water Gun, but maybe not. Too fast with the, with the Z key. So use the Z and X key for A and B. And then the directional buttons. You know, the arrow keys. Obviously, to move. Oh my god. Tackle, come on. Come on, just wipe him out. He's only level 31. Weezing's defense must be like 50 something, like 56. Maybe 60. Okay, go away, mouse. <coughs> Arbok. 
Charmeleon will be a good one to use for Arbok. I mean, Charmeleon would have been a good choice for both of them, to be honest. But I only just thought of it now. So let's use an Ember and then a Slash. Okay, that Ember was terrible. Why has it suddenly got a lot harder? Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I made that joke in the last one. Get over it. Okay, that slash was good. I don't care if it was a critical hit or not. It was good. I'm gonna go for one more and see if it works. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, another crit critical hit as well. Fantastic. Okay, so we have Meowth next, so I think we'll just swap to Pikachu for this one. Um. Yeah, we'll just swap to Pikachu. Because Pikachu can easily wipe him out with a Thunderbolt. There we go, Thunderbolt. Boom. Okay. I, I, I like to use the word easily, you know, quite loosely. 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 Yes, finally. Like always, yes, yeah, so why don't you quit? Why don't they, they just don't understand? Team Rocket blast off at the speed of light. Again. Okay, that's cool, we can move on now. Oh, and we have a poisoned Pokemon, and it's Charmeleon, and I don't think I have, any, I have anything to heal with, no? Okay, so he's gonna die. So I'm just gonna save here, just in case, because you never know, you, you never know. Okay. I recognize that guy. Bingo! The card key opened the door. Ah, Lunchy, so we meet again. The President and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown up matters, or experience a world of pain. Oh my god! It's Giovanni again! He's back for more! Oh, and he has slightly different Pokemon this time. So, what's good against Nidorino? Fighting. I need a fighting Pokemon. Uh, Charmeleon, which is poisoned, which is not good. So if I send them out, he's probably going to get wiped out anyway. Not good. That's kind of a good thing I saved, really, isn't it? So I'll send that Charmeleon now. He'll get hit by poison and then get wiped out by Nidorino. Watch. I bet ya. Maybe not then. I was lucky on that one. Seismic Toss. Hopefully that'll wipe them all. No? How did that not wipe them out? Okay, you know what? Let's go for a Slash. Seeing as Nidorino's not doing anything to me. Slash. Okay, that was good. I'm really liking these Slashes. Most of them tend to be critical hits. But Charmeleon's gonna die now anyway. Double Kick, which means two. Double, one, two. Yep, there we go. Okay, that's good. Slash, there we go. Charmeleon scraping on health there. Water all good to level 34. That's good. Okay, now we have Persian. So, I guess we could get away with sending out Pikachu and getting a quick Thunderbolt in there. Persian level 35, Pikachu level 33. Who's faster? Here's Persian. Ah, all the time. Okay, Gyarados, come on. Surely, surely you can do it. Thunderbolt. Not worried about a little screech. Just me defense fell. But I have a lot of defense anyway, so... It doesn't really matter. Okay, that is a good Dragon Bolt. Payday won't do a thing. Not too bad, but it was a critical hit. Okay, this is good. Fight! Cool! We're doing really well. Okay. We're gonna send out War Turtle for Rhyhorn. Oh, level 37. This is not good. This is not good. Okay, let's get a quick Water Gun! Because I remember his speed's fast, isn't it? So we need to take them into consideration. Look at that! That is the reason why you gotta pay attention to the stats. That right there. Okay, Needle Queen. I need something ground. Okay, I'll just send out Diglett to get him out, to get him over with. Whoa, level 41? To get higher and higher, I best do some training, and you know what, I don't even have any ground moves, so I just sent out Diglett as a waste of time. 
actually no, he's quite a good distraction while I heal other Pokemon. Aha. Uh -huh. But I have a Hyper Potion, so I can send it on Charmeleon, even though he's poisoned. Shit, I should have <laughs> used it on Butterfree, really. Butterfree and... Uh, Water Turtle. Oh, well. My eye is twitching. I don't know why it's... I don't know why it's twitching. It's probably because I haven't, I haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. Uh, stop that. Stop it. Okay, let's send out Charmeleon again, because he's poisoned, so no matter what, he's going to die anyway. So if you keep on using Slash or something, I I'm hoping that'll work. That was, that was good, uh, that was good defense. Okay, that was a critical hit. And each time he gets hit by poison, so I've got to take that into consideration. So if I use this Hyper Potion on Butterfree, I can get Confusion Psychic against Nino. Yeah, okay, I've got a ball rolling here. I'm thinking Confusion is super effective against, like, Nido Queen. I think that's how it was on the cards, anyway. I'm not sure whether the same rules apply to the game, but I know that's how they were on the cards. Come on, Nidorino, end your moves, just so I can wipe you out. See, I, I only healed Charmeleon before, and he's on 12 health. And now there's a good chance of him dying on the next one, and yep. Okay, so now we're going to send out... Butterfree. I forgot which one to send out then. Um, okay, I'm gonna just go for a quick sleep powder. Body slam, don't you dare, don't you dare. I'm paralyzed? I'm paralyzed off a body slam? Ooh, that must have hurt. And why didn't the sleep powder affect Needle Queen? Don't do this to me. What? How is. What? Head. Okay, that is not fair. That is not fair at all. Are you being serious right now? Butterfree just got annihilated? Ah, oh, this is not- Okay, Dragon Rage! Come on, come on. Use Rage! Oh, okay, let's get another one quick. Ha! Tail Whip won't do anything! Another Dragon Rage! Wait for it. Boom. Gyarados Cruiser level 34, that is how we do it, that is how we do it. Yeah, you lost again, yeah, and you're always gonna lose. Blast it all and you ruined our plans for Sylph, but Team Rocket will never fail. Won't she? Never fail. Never forget that all Pokémon exist for Team Rocket. I must go, but I shall return. Yeah, yeah, whatever, go. Oh, hello! That's the president. Thank you for saving Sylph. I will never forget you saved us in our moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way. Because I am rich, I can give you anything. Here, maybe this will do. Once you got the Master Ball. Oh yeah! You can't buy that anywhere. It's our secret prototype Master Ball. It will catch any Pokémon without fail. You should be quiet about using it though. Oh yeah, because I imagine Team Rocket will want to get their hands on that. Is you, are you his wife? Oh, his secretary. Thank you for using all, all of us. Rescuing all of us. I thought that said using. Rescuing all of us. We admire your courage. It, it's it's no problem, really. It's, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. I just got a master ball, but, you know, it's it's, it's nothing. I would have done it for free. Maybe. Kinda. Not. Ah, I think the next step is to defeat Koga or... Sabrina, because Sabrina's in this city. So I think with all the rockets gone now, I can... Yeah, with all the rockets gone, I can go inside the gyms now. But first, I must heal. Oh yeah, and guys, um, I forgot to say a while back, I actually forgot to pick up... Um, <laughs> this is quite shameful, but I forgot to pick up Bulbasaur in Cerulean City. And um, this woman, you get it off here, you know. So... Yeah, it needs a good trainer, yeah, yeah, we'll take care of Bulbasaur, won't we, guys? So, we've got Bulbasaur now, but I don't want to give a nickname to it. Please take care of Bulbasaur. So, thank you for that. <laughs> I think it was episode 3 or 4, when we were in Cerulean. And I can't believe I forgot Bulbasaur, because he's one of the main three. Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. I remember Charmander, I remember Squirtle. But as soon as it came to Bulbasaur... I am so ashamed of myself, but he will catch up to the rest, I will I will be sure of it. In fact, I've even got rid of Diglett, put Diglett in my box, and I've got Bulbasaur out so I can train him up um, to be the same level as everyone else, which is around 33. 
um, 33, 34. So, mind you, by that time, he will have evolved into a Venusaur, which is pretty epic, to be honest, because it's, it's, this Bulbasaur is the, um, is like the easiest one to, uh, to level up. Um, Bulbasaur evolves into Ivysaur at level 16, and then Ivysaur evolves into Venusaur at level 32, I think it is. I think it's 30 or 32, but with War Turtle and Charmeleon, they evolve within a, a few levels later. Um, I actually don't know why, it's kind of weird. I've never really um, tried to Google it and find out why or anything, but it's one of them things, I guess. So, I think our next move is defeating Koga. So in order to do that, we need to go to Celadon City or Lavender City and take one of the shortcuts around. I don't think I picked up the town map, so I can't actually show you guys um, whereabouts like we're going. In fact, yeah, I can. Okay, hang on, give me a minute, guys. Caterpie. Okay, see on here there. That's where I am, obviously, and I'm in Cerulean City, so I need to go down one and left one, and that's Celadon. And you see that winding road all the way left down? That's the cycling road where I can, I'm going to battle a lot of trainers. Or I can go right, I can go all the way down to Vermilion City, um, which is down two cities, um, and then right, which leads me to like a fishing spot and a bird catcher zone. But, but they both lead me to Fuchsia City, so whichever one I take doesn't really matter. But um, I weren't really planning on recording today, but I felt like I needed to just get this done. It, I felt it just playing on my mind all the time. I had to do it. Had to beat them. Came back victoriously. And um, yeah, this video couldn't have went any smoother, to be honest. But like always, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.